Hi everyone, it's Adam here from Ads Productions. Today I'm looking at the PNY 1TB drive, specifically the CS2140 model. This same drive is also available in a 500GB capacity. This is a 1TB drive using the M.2 form factor. The advertised maxed sequential read speed is 3600MB a second, and the advertised maxed sequential write speed is 3200 megabytes. I'll use some software shortly that simulates drive operations to check the realistic results. Not that it matters in any way, but the design and presentation are actually quite cool. It features a PNY logo, and it's also got a metallic looking blue and black canvas, which gives it kind of a futuristic look. All of this is just for marketing and selling, but nevertheless, I would rather something like that than just a plain motherboard, circuit board looking SSD. So it's the small features here that do make a big difference in your perception of this drive. It looks pretty cool, but at the end of the day, it's an SSD. If you're watching this and you're considering getting an SSD, an M.2 SSD for that matter, something to really be aware of is just absolutely make sure that you have the port or slot available in your motherboard. Because you don't want to get this and try and plug it in and realize, oh, actually, my machine's a bit older than potentially is required, so damn it, I can't use it. Just have a quick check, have a Google of your model number of your motherboard, just to make sure that you are fully compatible for this drive. If you desperately want one of these, but don't have one of these slots, you can buy PCI Express adapters similar to the one on screen now that will enable you to use it. However, you'll probably find that the speed is reduced just because of the hardware restrictions. Just something to be aware of. Connecting this was just as easy as any other hard drive or hardware component in a PC, so there's no additional requirements there. After I had installed it and turned my PC on, I then booted up an application known as Crystal Disk Mark 8. Using this it will simulate using a sample size of 1 gig read and write operations to give you a more realistic what you should expect kind of reading rather than just what it says on the box. So when I did this I found that the realistic read was 3450 megabytes a second and the write speed was realistically around 3198 megabytes a second. When you compare that to the 3600 and 3200 max that I mentioned earlier, this is very close to the mark, and as a result, I'm very happy with this. Let's make it a little bit more relatable. So this is the window that comes up when you transfer files or move or copy, cut, paste within Windows. And as you can see, we're peaking at around 1.1 gigabytes a second transfer speed. This does peak and it does trough based on what type of files they are etc etc just for transparency the types of files that I was using for this test were pretty large media files from previous videos so just bear that in mind you're going to get different transfer speeds depending on if you're transferring bulk PDF files which are let's say 10 to 100 meg compared to moving 25 gig video files as an example so as you can see on the screen, those are the sort of transfer speeds that you should expect. This is actually one of the fastest drives I've used ever. And there's not really many scenarios where this won't make a considerable difference to your daily use, whether it be transferring a small amount of files here and there, all the way to transferring significantly large files across drives and to and from this drive in particular. If you are on the market for a drive that will give you a faster boot up time and allow you to open up a variety of different applications much much quicker as well as giving you an overall increased performance on your computer with various different applications then why wouldn't you seriously consider checking out the PNY CS2140 model.